Good morning everyone, it's Ros Bandy Psychic Medium here for our Daily Lenneman Card Spread reading. I must do an overlay for that one day so you can clearly see the purpose of this morning's live stream. Uh, it is the, uh, it's Friday the 16th of July 2021 and it's lovely to welcome you here. I'm going to switch over to the cards. Um, hmm, got an alarm going here somewhere. Apologies for that. Hmm. Um, <laughs> here we have the cards ready for us. Uh, tune into your senses, your psychic senses, and uh, what mess way you receive messages. So, here we go with the hour one. I'm I'm really enjoying the action, like the process of choosing all these. Oh, hang on, I didn't switch, finish switching the cards. Um, <laughs> I'll do the two extra cards that's not the Lenneman here's the hour card every struggle in your life has shaped you into the person you are today extremely appropriate for me today because uh, I realized this morning on waking that there's certainly some things I do forget and neglect to do and uh, you know sometimes one of those those little passing moments where you actually say to yourself stupid things well stupid things at the time it sounds like a truth and then you think oh, hey, no actually it's not true and I sort of thought well I haven't been in touch with my daughters there's some things I could have done differently for planning today and I haven't communicated well and gee I've not been a good mother have I and yet stop I have been an excellent mother I'm just who I am and being who I am so this here is also informing us the card that comes from the deck that is the inner soul guidance deck that uh, Leanne and Deb have created, spiritual awakening, your higher vibrations rise from within. So your spiritual path is calling you. And that certainly was what I woke up with. And the message is confirmed in the cards again as well. So tap into what you're receiving as your signs and symbols and trust those move with them be who you are within your framework now there's that deck of cards that i'm using which is the gilded reverie the gilded Den lenneman expanded edition right so now we can get to the reading and keza good morning to you lovely to see you commenting i like to have the visuals as well of people who are here and watching or those who are listening and even those who are on replay Good morning and evening wherever you are in the world. Good morning, Emma. And we've got Michaela Jones. Good morning. Looks like you're in the UK. From that nice British flag, is it? <laughs> Good morning. One of the things that, diff that I like about the HAPS app with the live streaming, you can look up the profiles very quickly of where people are. Um, it, it takes the <laughs> it takes the uh, impetus from you to actually state, oh, I'm here, because we assume it's in our profile. We can see it. So, hi, Mary. Um, going to ask me. <laughs> Thank you. I don't do individual readings for this one in the morning. It is what the cards will. Uh, what I'm reading is this layout as a general guide so tap into that Mary and see what you feel from that it may have your answer okay and Michaela yeah from England <laughs> so it's just my deduct my deduction abilities did you sing like a Sherlock Holmes you know <laughs> yes <laughs> so good morning Kat how are you beautiful lady beautiful soul and Karina good morning to you as well we all are aren't we all beautiful energies and beautiful souls it doesn't matter whether we're women men or otherwise it does not matter we live our lives as best as we are as we are good morning kim lovely to see you here too now with this the cross in that home space this morning um i almost felt like it, it certainly is trusting stepping to faith in who you are and that's what I had as, as the reminder for me because of knowing, you know, that, that phrase that oh, I'm not a good mother, am I, type thing this morning and having to double take on that because we are who we are. There's things that we are picking up that aren't for us and there's things that we need to step into in faith and trust of our own, okay, that we are in our 
energies as we are for a purpose and a reason for further down the track for someone else or right in this instant for someone else okay and in that family space the home space it really is important to be who you are authentically and um you know stand stand in that power of you that's what i'm getting with the cross today so moving it over into a, and here we've got the lady in this the older woman in the center again we had her yesterday in the home space now we've got in the center well, uh, recently might not have been yesterday so here we are with the letter in our business space workspace so it's a bit of a oh thank you very much karina you like the stream um, this is a stream elements feature that pops up like that. I'd like to add a couple more, but I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> Someone else might have to help me along with that. So thank you. I'd love it to actually pop up when there's stars shared or some, or the streams shared and things like that. But look, we can't have all the glitz all the time, can we? <laughs> so, um, with the It's just a bit of fun. I like pressing buttons and playing with things. So here we have the letter in our workspace, a little bit more serious. It's around the agreements or contracts, things like that. There could uh, and could be just plain communication. Take it in the context of what you're expecting in your day throughout any moment in your workspace. So whether you're getting a text that's important or whether you're needing to sign agreements, just make sure that they're as you want to have them. If you're signing something, if you're just communicating with something, uh, with someone and it's needing to be a little more formal just make sure you're proofreading it if it's just to get some things done like uh, I could have arranged things a little bit differently for my day-to-day -day in preparation I could have you know uh, at least texted the daughters and said hey I'm coming up wherever and Michaela thank you you've liked the stream too isn't that nifty I like how that pops up that's fun <laughs> Part of the fun isn't it and Michelle oh good morning yep you haven't quite missed me I'm only just starting so you're getting the bulk of the reading without having to do a replay um, and you can always replay whenever you want to anyway and Sarah good morning to you lovely to see you here and uh, did you enjoy your shower <laughs> so let's move on from what is that communication make sure you are communicating clearly and well today don't forget things that are important which I, I sort of nearly did and yes so apologies might be in order sorry Denise and Alice um or Alice and Denise whichever way I look at it um here we've got the lilies in that unexpected so there'll be some reminders through the day of things that are from ancestry it could be little snippets of what is family stories that might pop into your day so that it reminds you just the little lessons that might be learnt from that or just to lift your spirit as far as a happiness a happy memory and things that you know you like to remember of those who are past and those um little little snippets of wisdom is what I'm going to feel into that space because it does feel like there's going to be some moments there where we pull ourselves up and say hey it's not like you think it is at times here is and etc so <laughs> and yes you did it's when you connect with your guides well I find the showers a very nice time to actually do that as well so it's lovely now I'm just going to sneak into the back end of uh oh yeah no, it's not that page then so she'll be right I'm just going to go over to my profile because I can see one a comment oh, I just don't want to have it hanging around there silly people that think there's going to be some oh good morning cat you're on my profile page oh now I don't even know where the heck that one's gone 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 probably on that page um I just it's just that I've been uh I can just see a troll comment that's on one of the pages somewhere I'm trying to find it so if you're wondering what I'm doing that's what I'm doing and funny thing I can't see it so uh yeah um one of the things facebook will only show me for comments as i'm doing a live stream so it's no point i'll just go back to closing that off and saying hello again to michaela saying it makes sense 
So good, thank you. Now, one of the things is if you do see a comment that invites you to inbox, et cetera, for accurate readings and the rest, do ignore it. Don't respond to the comment because I go later and ban, delete and all that sort of stuff. I can't do it while I'm here. If you see it, you can right click or tap on it, long tap and do a report and ban that type of thing. Just a reminder that it's possible from your end as well. But it's only I who can completely do that reporting as the owner of those pages, etc. Or an admin with the MyTimeTV.live. Unless you're an admin of the MyTimeTV.live, you can do the full bit. Anyway, let's get back to the reading um, because I've got to jump through different comments here um, to find if there's anyone else who is popping in and good morning, Shaz. How are you? You've been talking to your sister. And that's fine and legit. So now we got up to the lilies and uh, the fact that there's going to be some of our ancestral information popping in through the day or memories of those who are in, um, well, it, it could be fr family, friends or anyone, you know, memories of what in history has popped up. You know how we get the Facebook reminder sometimes of the two years ago, the three years ago, that type of thing. That could even be included in that level of reflection and what pops up in your day to remind us uh, sometimes where we've been, what we've experienced previously to, you know, what, what we can say was our lesson and how much we've learned and come in, in our journey to now. So we're here in our... Um, our role with the fox now that's he or she you know because I'm female I'd call it a she so she's she's looking back reflecting back to she couldn't get into the chicken coop the rooster sitting right there on that fence has kept her kept the fox away so it's almost letting us know you we we do need to be vigilant like the rooster we might even though the card itself is called fox but it's that persistence and perseverance in, a, a, you know, working towards and achieving who we are, being who we are. A fox is being who it is, um, what it is, the creature of the nature that it is. It, it's, an, it's a mammal that is wanting to feed and supply and be for its family type. So, and, and survival, it, it is that animal instinct. It's, it's what they have and use of their resources to move into that space and be who they are so that to me it's reminding us in our role that it is who we need to be be your genuine self but also be aware of how we are learning on our pathway this fox is going to go away and relearn how to get the chicken or feed its family type of thing what other way can it do that and we can spend that time ourselves away from the situation we're aiming for planning and creating that pathway that's in the best interests of everyone to move it forward as far as us as human beings with uh, you know all that we have as as being who we are okay um, we are told that the humans you know the human being is the higher intelligence and all the rest because it thinks and feels and has emotions and all that sort of stuff well uh I think we're on the same level still as what is the nature of animal because I do think that animals in whatever species and breed have their own different communication levels of intelligence and the rest that there's none that is higher than the other really. It's just being who we are, being what we are. So be that best you that you can be as we're coming to our outcome of the older woman in her wisdom, in her reflection and clarity, you know, gaining that clarity of, you know, that that sunshine is shining the light on her, the inner glow that then flows out from her. And good morning, Sharina. I just noticed you there. <laughs> Lovely to see you here too. So thank you for popping in. So, you know, as we're moving through this cycle of what these cards are, you know, in our home space, trusting that self, in our workspace, making sure that what we're wanting in that pathway of, uh, and tasks and, and whatever way our communication is, that it is as we want it before we sign it, so to speak. So make sure what you're communicating is as you want it being out there. 
and signed. And certainly the, the moments where we're going to be bringing in, uh, you know, what we have been through all of our ancestry and connections, that it's going to serve our purpose of being who we are to that nth degree of me and you and whoever else you have around us, around you, that, you know, understanding and accepting the differences um, and the uniqueness of each and every one of us, that we are all interacting together in that greater good and understanding like the sage woman, like the, you know, that feminine energy of nurturing all of humanity, not just to that single self in a selfishness way, if you can understand that. That's how I'm seeing the flow of today, uh, of what these cards mean for us today. It really is that bringing together the the, the self, self-love self acceptance into, you know, this, this is for the purpose of continuing on to be the best person that we are because we are people. It's how you're understanding me. You're not the fox trying to understand a human. You are a person understanding humanity and our place in it and your specialness, your uniqueness and all that you can be in moving forward on that pathway. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. I'll catch up with you tonight. There should, oh, I've got to schedule that yet. <laughs> You'll see that come up in a minute. Uh, shortly as an, a, an event on my time the Friday's intuitive chat with Ros and Leanne or Leanne and Ros whichever way I label it. I think it's Ros and uh, Leanne and Ros so it's Friday's intuitive chat that's at 8 30 tonight that's where some of those individual questions may be answered with whatever tools we use <laughs> I might change it up tonight who knows and um <laughs> and I'm just looking at yours, Michelle. Um, seen some of these cards in another reading, something you need to learn. <laughs> um, as you can see, they are they were the Lenormand deck that's the Gilded Reverie by Ciro Marchetti. Beautiful artwork. It's a Lenormand deck that I was using there. There's so many different tools that we can use. And tapping into direct with our spirit guidance and what we know of our soul pathway through soul contract investigating that thank you sarah another beautiful start to the day thank you i love giving what i can of you know helping this way of guidance um, there is no one way there is no absolute right way it's what you discover for yourself tapping into your spiritual guidance in whatever that way it is we're so good at labeling the ways we do things and creating judgment around what's right, what's wrong and everything uh, as far as the pathways we need to be following to get the best enlightenment, all of that. Well, I mean, I'm just going to label it all crap, um, <laughs> but not in the way the word says. It, it's finding what is your unique way that you understand who you are in that journey. Okay, that's my message to you this morning. Or oh, spirit, is it channeled? You know, who we are, are we channeling someone? Uh, look, understand it the way you need to. And Kim, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You were thinking the same thing. We aren't listening, so they're making us listen by repeating the cards. Absolutely. And that's right. Sometimes, but sometimes it's also instead of not listening, there's just a continuation of the timeline as well, that it's just going to take us longer to go through those steps. All different variations of how we understand, and that you're right there. So, and uh, others with a different understanding will be right as well. There isn't a wrong, it's just how we each need to understand what we're receiving. So, thank you, Keza. T tonight, either. Either tonight at the 8.30 with uh, Friday's Intuitive Chat with Leanne and Roz <laughs> or tomorrow morning at the 8 o'clock-ish uh, for the uh, another one of the Daily Lenin and Card Spread readings. So thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much indeed. And we'll see you then. Namaste.